Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 9 of season 2 of Oshinoko. So let's go ahead and get started in, oh shit, okay, in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, no, it's not fucking over here. That means it's on my over my bed. You look so good and creepy. I love it. Damn, Ruby. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, she's being supportive and she's praising you, sweetie. She's right. He is.
right? I mean, that ass, no offense, you should have stopped and at least tried to save her and then maybe fight to the death if you truly needed to. You know, baby. Yeah, she's super mommy. Cody, what the to <laughs> this dog? Oh. Go lay down. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah, so you'll be really tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine doing an eight hour shift and then nine out of ten trying to come home and record. Your girl. I was supposed to do some things last night, but I came home and I fell asleep. <laughs> God, she signed so beautifully. I'm like, oh.
once again, she's just on next level. Aqua. Dude, seriously, when the fuck did you have time to get, like, freaking DNA strands for people? But the fact that I also, like, fucking protect with that shit. The fuck?
Bye, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, if it's free food and booze, hell yeah. True. <laughs> okay. It's ginger real. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, hold up, she's a bitch. Yeah, mind if I ask you a couple questions? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but you might as well tell us what it is. Oh, come on. Don't beat around the bush. Hmm. It's a wild chicken whiskey.
<laughs> True. Really? Okay, that's a little weird, though. Where are your parents? But I bet you Kimiko considers him as, like, his quote-unquote dad. In a nutshell, <laughs> what the absolute, <laughs> shut the absolute ass up, are you serious, oh shit, so your dad is just as, oh, y'all dad is a deadbeat dad, oh I hate, that's so messed up, because he, he says he's been in a child, like basically foster home, up until homeboy, you know, found him and raised him because, like I said, I'm guessing he looks on him as a father figure. But damn, y'all dad suck! Uh, you know what? And, and I can't, like, okay. If Aqua ends up telling his brother about I and the reason why he's doing all this, I'm secretly hoping that he joins in. It's up just to get revenge on him, too. Even though it's like, oh, I know nothing about I and, and everything in your relationship with her. But since our father was an absolute shit to me, and he's also an absolute shit to you and such, why not just make it a family outing and we just all go kill dad? <laughs> because it's, it's really looking like that. And if it is, holy shit. Ruby gonna get on this too? Like, are, are we, like, if we, if we meet dad, I don't think we'll meet, once again, I don't think we'll meet him at the end of season two. So I'd say like season three or season four, depending on how this is gonna go. Like, are they all just gonna have turns stabbing the shit out of dad? Oof. I hate to say that too, because yeah, that is violent. And you know, a kind of gonna be like, hey, let me in the fun too. Girl, oh, okay, we... This about to possibly go maddening and such. And I hope that with next week's episode, because 
unfortunately I'm going to be at work on Wednesday when this airs and I won't be able to see it until I get the fuck home. Um, I think either I'll be at work or I won't. I don't really remember. I got to look at my schedule again because I think I have, I, I requested next Wednesday off. Um, how the hell is this conversation going to go between these two? Because of course they're both going to have questions about not only each other, but their dad as well. And Himikawa is the only one who can really answer that because he's only had maybe like what a little ounce of interaction with his father. Damn, we really, y'all really took dead B dad to in a nutshell. It shows a lot of anime. Y'all really taking the dead B dad seriously. Jesus Christ. I hope when we do eventually meet the dad I, I'm hoping and praying that he's not hot because I want to be like oh damn I'm in love with him damn you gotta kill him but you know regardless even if he is hot I'll be like go ahead and kill him you gotta kill him because you know I, I hated him since episode one just as much as everybody else even though I have never even seen him yet but the day that effort dies that's gonna be the happiest day of everybody's life for this show maybe maybe once again, we're not going to talk about that leaked message. So, other than that, guys, it was a really good episode. I, I love just the last little bits of it. Overall, the play, everybody did a damn good job. Even though it was for, like, consistent certain amount of episodes, I do like the way it was formed. I secretly kind of wish we got to see more, but I get it, you know, time consuming. You can't put every little detail of something into it. So I get it. I definitely do. Maybe like, cause I think what Amazon prime is doing the live action version of this show. So maybe if it does get a second season, maybe they'll go more in depth on this. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode nine of season two of Oceanoko. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.